Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of trigonometry. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, they are asking us to find the value of the expression. 96 cos of pi by 33, cos of 2 pi by 33, cos of 4 pi by 33, cos of 8 pi by 33, and cos of 16 pi by 33. So this is the entire value of the expression asked to us and there are four options given. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So these are the four options. We need to find out which one of them is the correct answer for the question given to us. Let's figure out the value of the expression. So 96 cos pi by 33. <coughs> Cos of 2 pi by 33, cos of 4 pi by 33, cos of 8 pi by 33, and you have cos of 16 pi by 33. Now what I can do here is first step, I can use the idea sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta, or you can write that as sine theta into cos theta, which is equal to sine 2 theta upon 2. So if I use this idea, sine 2 theta into cos theta, so sine theta into cos theta, so I have cos theta, I need sine theta, so I'll multiply both sides by sine theta. So sine pi by 33 on both sides, if I'm multiplying, I get this turning out. Let's see what it becomes now. So you get 96 cos theta into sine theta. You can write that as sine 2 theta by 2. So you can write that as sine of 2 pi by 33 upon 2 into, as it is all the other expressions, cos of 2 pi by 33, cos of 4 pi by 33, cos of 8 pi by 33, and cos of 16 pi by 33. You have this entire expression, and we have divided by a trigonometric ratio that is sine of pi by 33. So if I write that as well, I have 96 upon sine of pi. So this is the entire expression. If I cancel out 2 and 96, 2 ones are 2 48s are. So you are left with 48 upon sine pi by 33 now. And further, if you see here, you have sine theta again into cos theta again. So sine theta into cos theta, I can again write that as sine 2 theta by 2. So it becomes sine of 4 pi by 33 upon 2 into whatever is left out. So these three terms are left out. Cos 4 pi by 33, cos 8 pi by 33, and cos 16 pi by 33. So you write it as it is. Again, okay. if I try to cancel out 2 and 48, you are left with 24. Now let's see what I get. 24 upon sine pi by 33 as it is. Again, if I apply the idea of sine theta into cos theta, sine theta, cos theta, I can again write that as sine 2 theta by 2. So sine 2 theta by 2. Here you are left with cos 8 pi by 3, 33 and cos of 16. So you get this entire expression. Again, if I cancel out 2 and 24, 2 ones are 2 twelves are. So again, you are left with 12 upon sine pi by 33. Here you are left with again sine theta into cos theta. So sine theta into cos theta. That gives you again sine 2 theta by 2. So sine of 16 pi by 33 upon 2 into the last trigonometric ratio that is cos 16 pi by 33. So you are left with this entire thing. Again, you cancel out 2 and 12, 2 1s are 2 6s are. So you are left with the last idea. Let's see that. So 6 upon sine pi by 33 into, again you have sine theta into cos theta. So if I write that, sine theta cos theta, again I can write that as sine 2 theta by 2. So sine of 16 pi into 2 is 32 pi by 33 upon 2. Again, if you cancel it, 2 ones are 2 threes are. So you are left with 3 sine 32 pi by 33 upon sine pi by 32. 
so the entire expression becomes 3 sin of 32 pi by 33 i can just write that as pi minus pi by 33 because if you solve it you get 33 pi minus pi so you get 32 pi okay so sin of pi by 3 now pi by 33 now i'm just writing it in terms of sin of pi minus theta which means this is your pi minus theta in the second quadrant so sin of pi minus theta sin theta in the second quadrant is positive so you get sine of pi minus pi by 33 as 3 sine of pi by 33 upon sine of pi by 33. If you cancel it out, you get this to cancel and you get the answer as 3. So this is the correct answer for the question given to us. And if you see the option that matches here with the question, that is option C. So C is the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question. So this question we just multiplied and divided by sine pi by 33 on both sides in the numerator and denominator. And once we did that, we got this idea sine theta into cos theta is equal to sine 2 theta by. So we used that entire idea in all the five steps till it got converted into sine 32 pi by 33. And then we just used the idea of sine pi minus theta that is sine theta. So you get the answer as 3 and that matches with option C. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JW mains as well as 11th and 12th. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JW. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving every day. Thank you.